Tuesday. It was a five mile easy run, but in the last mile, you know, I kind of started feeling it. Song came on, I just started kind of sprinting, but yeah, so I'm training for a 10K coming up. It's to run this skyline. I've already done the half marathon of that event, which was an amazing route. But this time I'm gonna take myself from a 10K PB to a half marathon PB to a marathon PB. And I'm aiming for a, a BMW Dallas Marathon on the, in December. So, you know, gonna go clean up, eat, rest a little bit, do some work on a computer and uh, go hit legs later on and I'll be recording that session. I apologize for this view and this angle of this squat right here. My shit just got ate up, but before this, I started off with the bar, did about 10 reps, and then I put 45s on each side, did eight reps. Now I'm doing 185 for five up until I reach my max. But like I said, I'm training for this 10K I've never trained for an actual 10K. I've ran plenty of 10Ks, but they were more for like training. And um, that like for my marathon plan, 10Ks were like the minimum at some point where I was just doing my easy runs on a 10K, my tempo runs as a 10K, progressive runs as a 10K, and just things like that. So I'm used to the 10K, but I've never actually tried to train for one where I'm hitting a, a personal best 10K time i think the fastest i've ran a 10k without trying i wouldn't say without trying and trying but it was just part of my plan and i've just ran it fast it was about 53 minutes it actually wasn't part of my plan i was just this was around the time when i first started training for my half marathon at this point i had no plan it was just more like okay i'm gonna run five miles this week then i'm gonna run six miles next week and then I'm gonna do 10 miles next week. And I was running all those runs hard. I had no easy runs. I had no speed work. It was just, let's see how hard I could run each run and hopefully I get better. So I really didn't know much better. And that ended up getting me hurt like twice. The first time was plantar fasciitis, which fucking hurt. I'm not even sure if I'm saying it right. And then the second time, I think I had a, um, I'm not sure what it was, but it had me not training for two weeks before the actual race date. So I didn't even know if I was gonna run it. But the last minute I ended up saying, fuck it, you know what, I'm gonna run it. If I get hurt during the process, then fuck it, I'm gonna just push through it. But I ended up doing pretty good. Luckily, I didn't feel that pain up until mile 10 or 11, which really slowed me down big time. But I ended up finishing the half marathon at a 203, which I was proud of. I really wanted the 155 area, but I was proud of that time. But um, yeah, you know, training for this 10K, run this skyline in April. I've already done this course, the half marathon, that was my first one, but now I'll be doing the 10K. So I wanna do a 10K personal best, then do a half marathon personal best, maybe around August and then go for the BMW Marathon in Dallas in December. And I'm hoping to at least get somewhere in the four. The past time I did my marathon, which was in December, the Honolulu Marathon, my first marathon ever. And I'm actually rocking that shirt, the finisher shirt right here. But uh, yeah, it was a terrible fucking time. I didn't know what to expect the first 13, 14 miles, I feel good. Basically did it, uh, you know, nonstop at a good pace. I was feeling good. And then, yup, started feeling that injury. I was wearing the brakes too, so I was hoping that helped a little bit, but it really didn't. But um, yeah, the first 10 weeks went perfect. I was feeling confident. Then the last six weeks, it was just like, what the fuck is going on? I think um, once I think once I started getting into the 16 mile long runs, 18 mile long runs, 20 mile long runs, I started neglecting mobility and legs just because I was feeling tired, I guess you could say, which was a big mistake. You know, I think that made a 
a big impact on my running ability. And uh, the most pain I was feeling was on my right, no, my left, my left, uh, my left outer knee, which I came to find out if I'm correct that that has to do with uh, your hips not being strong enough. I don't know if y'all can hear my dog snoring, but um, yeah, I started realizing that it could have been my IT band and my hips not being strong enough along those lines. But um, I started training more like, I wouldn't say like an athlete, but it's more tailored to running than bodybuilding because I was still doing like bodybuilding style workouts there. But I want to train more like an athlete, you know, um, being disciplined and training is something that I can definitely do. So, you know, I want to be able to train harder. I want to, I want to be able to be all around good. I want to be able to be strong in the gym and also a good runner. So that's something that's a goal of mine for this year. And um, I'm not trying to be like the best runner out there or anything like that, but I'm trying to be good at it. This is the worst angle that I've ever done for calf raises. I actually had recorded a good one, but well, really I didn't record it. I placed my camera down uh, and I thought I recorded, but it never ended up recording. But anyways, um. Yeah, this is my leg day routine here so far. Might change it up once I start this plan. But uh, you know, I'm not really trying to do too much, too much of anything heavy other than squats, because I really do want to go back to hitting the 315 on there, which is gonna be a little tough, but ever since I've been training my hips more and being more mobile in that area, coming back to uh didn't getting up to that weight it feels good i could definitely tell the difference so this was a 2 a.m workout and um, i usually do hip thrusts and things like that but i was already getting too late so usually if i don't end up doing these things on leg day i do them on my core day when i would when i do core and abs so i'll do the hip abductor i'll do a uh, hip thrust uh bridges i'll do a uh, different like hip hip exercises, um, knee exercises, just different things to be more mobile. I can't really tell you exactly what exercises. I use the app called Recovery, and I usually just follow those steps on there. But yeah, you know, anybody getting into running, just start doing it, um, be smart about it, train hard, don't give up, be consistent, and don't forget to subscribe. Wish taker, but you know they come with how I live I'm a bitch taker, all I do is smile and she come here I've been winning for some years